Why do you think prosecutors and politicians at times find it necessary to investigate the radio and record industries? I don't understand the question. What was the question again on that one? What was the question? What are you talking about? I didn't answer that very effectively. What was your question again? Okay, I understand. I didn't understand the first thing. It's an interesting question. Good question. Good question. That's a good question. Could explain it in a million years. That's the million dollar question. I don't know the answer to that. You probably know this better than me. Uh, yeah. I don't want to answer that question because, to be honest, um, uh, I don't want to start getting into a legal discussion. What, 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 uh... Re repeat that question? Why do you think prosecutors and politicians at times find it necessary to investigate the radio and record industries? Obviously it brings large headlines and, uh, and uh, this is something that uh, all politicians, as you know, strive for and the prosecutors also. We're an easy sick target. Uh, you know, there's still a sexiness to the entertainment industry. Payola, in some ways, is a type of false advertising. And governments are very concerned about false advertising. They are the last people that should be accusing anybody of anything. They already have their own agendas, and generally their agendas have nothing to do with right or wrong. It has to do with whatever their agenda is at that particular time. Damn, man, is this the record business? What's really going on?